Well, the uh, fourth guitar is back. That's new. Hey you, my name is Elon. Welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. This is being shot on a really old Nikon 28 to 105 and it's doing great. I know I haven't been using it before. It's been laying around forever. And also macro mode only works if you're zoomed in really close, but you see this little strip, which you don't see, I can focus wee close. And if I extend it to hundred millimeters, I can pretty much put this thing on the lens and it still focuses. Amazing. So speaking of something new and changes in general, I just want to mention a couple elements, a couple, quite a few elements that I want to change in this vlog, which is something that I mentioned in the last vlog. First of all, Wednesdays we love Wednesday I love Wednesdays especially when you have a full work week and you have to make the vlog in the last three hours so it can be out on Wednesday I just love Wednesdays the point is I started the whole Wednesday vlog as a routine to get myself to be creative to have a deadline so that I could create with a purpose and kind of build towards something every week but then as my jobs started building up more I didn't have that much time anymore so oftentimes my vlog became really rushed in the last moment and the quality went down because I literally only have enough time to just sit here and say something so then my vlogs became kind of boring and also I wasn't really it was wasn't challenging anymore. it's just a, a last minute sit down thing so while it was really good in the beginning where I was too lazy to make regular vlogs and I started making them regularly now that I'm in the mood, I think the, the regularity of it is kind of killing the vibe. So I will still try to make them every week depending on my workload, but not necessarily every Wednesday. The big thing that I've mentioned to quite a few of my friends and maybe in one of my previous vlogs is the composition. Like this guitar background is really cool and it's been working great for a while, but I just, I, you know, with speaking about cameras and technology things like that in a lot of my vlogs I think it would make more sense plus I need the storage space for all my gear and all my lenses and all the things I build up so I want to make a big work table with my monitors and a shelf behind with all the lens and other camera bodies and gear and maybe some LED strips just the cliche stuff you see on YouTube but you know I want to go through that phase as well that's being thought of I'm currently creating a 3d model of what the table would look like so then I can order it and build it because I'm, I want to learn handyman -y stuff as well I'll get to that later now the elements that pop up the you know the subscribe buttons I've went through a few versions of them but I think I'm gonna go with the sketchy kind of style things drawing themselves it kind of it, it's more personal and not so formal professional kind of type which I'm trying to stray away from because I don't want to be one of those cold boring excuse me dry type of channels so I'm gonna be changing up all the visuals at some point and speaking of the room which I spend so much time in, I also want to be more out in the field so I'm gonna make my vlogs more like the travel type of vlogs where I'm out doing something explaining something as opposed to just sitting here and blabbering to the camera it's gonna take planning it's gonna take more thinking but I, I, I enjoy making those vlogs more, which is important to me, even though some of these sitting down ones technically perform better, but that should not be a priority. Now, my f the first season of vlogs was always out in the field, but it was completely random. It was not tied to a single topic. Each one had a different form, which wasn't going anywhere, which is when I started making one topic vlogs but now they've become kind of stale. So now I want to combine the two, include elements from my life and the exciting things that are happening while also tying them together in the whole, you know, techie camera Kai world view. And speaking of that topic, there's one topic that I've been ignoring for a while because it's been in my head for years and I've been saving up for it for years as well, a little bit fewer years, and that is van life. I'd love to get myself a big van, like a Sprinter or something, converted to have all of your basic necessities in the apartment, your electricity and your plumbing and things like that, kind of like a more complex camper with a workstation inside so that I can be on the road working. If I'm working at a location, I don't have to wait till I get home to start working on things and especially that I can spend more times 
in nature even when I am working. But details on that will come in an upcoming video because van life is a topic that I want to actively include in the upcoming vlogs in this so-called season three. I also want to include more of my friends, like I mention them in the vlog all the time, but they don't appear on camera and I think when there are more people on camera and you talk with them and interact with them in the video, it's a lot more exciting and it's kind of dynamic. That is another thing I want to add. I want to add different music like stuff, but I've pretty much been recycling the same 10 or 15 tracks in my videos, but there's so much more music out there that you can even get for free, even though it's not as good quality, but it can work fine in the vlog just to give it more emotion and not be that typical kind of, I guess, deep house that most people use in vlogs. And lastly, on my little list, is kind of planned sister content. I, I often forget to take thumbnails specifically for a YouTube video and then end up pulling a random frame, which kind of works, but I want to make specifically catered thumbnails like my last vlog with a guy shaving my beard. I, it was actually Addis's fault that we took it. He's like, here's one for the thumbnail, make a face. I'm like, yeah, dude. I, I can't believe I didn't think of that after three years of vlogging. I want to make stories specifically for Instagram because I upload my vlog there, I share it with people, but my stories are always cutouts of the vlog in a little kind of cropped form, but I want to make specifically advertising the vlog to my Instagram audience. And same goes for TikTok. I've been playing around with TikTok with some semi-success. It's been fun. Uh, I've ignored it for the last while because I was sick and work and blah blah blah, but I want to um, treat it like a serious platform, even though it's pretty young it will be one day very soon a lot of people say TikTok for the win that is it guys I hope this is one of the last boring vlogs where all I do is sit and talk and explain things because the whole point of this is that I want to change it around thank you guys for sticking around and bearing with me through all this thank you and as always I'm going to see you guys next week next I'm <clears throat> I have to do this with a voice. And I'm gonna see you guys next week. I can do the trailer guy, dude. I can do the trailer guy.